morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Palestine United Methodist Church. Good morning, Facebook Live. It's a good day to be alive. Amen. Amen. Regardless of the circumstances, all right. regardless of the situations all around, we still here. Amen. 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 We still here. God don't make no mistakes. Amen. All right. Amen. Uh, we're going to be continuing to be praying for the, the Reed family all right. around. Amen. Uh, praying for all the sick and shut in. Yes. Amen. We're going to be praying one for the other. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, continue to lift up uh, the Griffin Adams family. Amen. Continue to lift, lift up uh, the Rogers family. Continue to lift, lift up Brother Elmer Cook family. Yes. Man, and those who I don't have right now, those who have passed on family, bereavement, uh, it's real. Man. Hey Amen. We don't know the day or the hour. All right. Man, it's day, day to grieve, and tomorrow could be ours. Hey Amen. Man. So let us continue praying for one another. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, as I drove up this morning, yeah, we can see what looks like construction and everything going on right there on the parking lot. And maybe when we drive up next Sunday, maybe you just see this part of the building. Amen. Uh, we we trying to get it taken care of, but uh, it's gonna be done. And it's going to be done in God's time. Amen. Amen. We can rush all we want to, but God knows. Amen. So continue to pray for us here as a whole. Amen. And there's nothing else we can say and do but pray. Amen. You know, prayer changes things. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Not going to be long today. We have our call to worship. Uh, right there in front of us. And we'll start right now. This is the second Sunday after Pentecost, year A, the color is green. Amen. We have our scripture texts in front of us also. So let us begin this worship service today in the name of Jesus. Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to worship. We gather today as people God calls to go and share the good news. We gather as God sent our people. We gather to listen and share God's work in our lives, our families, and our neighborhoods. We proclaim the goodness of God's love together. We gather to respond to God's grace as we continue on the path of discipleship. We hear God's call and learn to say yes to God together. We gather to again hear God's call to go as God commissions us to love God and neighbor in everything that we do. We go God's call together and Amen. Amen. We're still wearing our masks on occasion. Amen. COVID is still out there. Amen. Right. And when you see me wearing my mask, it's not just for my protection. It's for your protection also. Right. Amen. And uh, they're not televising it. They're not giving the numbers every day, but there is COVID every day, y'all. Right. Be aware of it be aware of it. When you're out in places and, and get real tight, you may ought to have a mask in your pocket to slap on just for precautions. Amen. 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 Our affirmation of faith is found on page 881 in our hymnal. Amen. If you don't mind when you find it, let us confess our Christian faith together and be aware of our 
Mississippi Annual Conference is fastly approaching. It will be held in Tupelo, Mississippi this year. Amen. And uh, it's the week of 27. See that Friday the 23rd. Yeah, we'll start that Monday following the Friday the 23rd. And and you're welcome to come. And if you've never been to a Mississippi Annual Conference, this is your opportunity. This is your chance because it's usually in Jackson, Mississippi. And, and, and come and see and take part and know uh, what your church as a whole not just Palestine, it's the whole United Methodist Church in the Mississippi Conference. It's going to be represented there by different uh, delegates and pastors, and they're going to have some good preaching, some good singing, and they're also going to do the politic part of the church. And if you never took being and taking part in it, believe me, it's a lot of politics. Come and see how your church is operating from the blow up, ground up, all the way to the bishop. And you can have a chance to see. Page 881 in our hymn. If you don't mind standing, if you're able to stand. In whom do you believe in? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitting at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of everlasting. Amen. Amen. This time we have a song, uh, a song on anyone's heart this morning. Amen. Let God use them at this time. Make it, yes, to the city. 
you got another chance well, and another opportunity. I can't yeah. say it enough. I, I, I remember sitting down in the St. Paul Baptist Church as a boy. I had to get up and go to church on Sunday, no matter what time I came in. All right. and, and my mind couldn't go no farther than when they were talking about 1999. Mm -hmm. When the year 2000 hit, they said the world was going to end. Come on now. I remember sitting there. I might have been a, a, a young man in London age, and I added it up. 1999, what is it? And I come up to a figure I would have been 40 something years old in 19. I thought, oh, I'd be an old man then, probably. I said, and come to find out when 2000 got and I was 42 years old, I was just starting to live. All right. Amen. 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 I was just starting to live. Some of us right now. All right. We need to just start to live. All right. Amen. Yeah. And we can do that earnestly. Yeah. By allowing God to be the head of our life. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us are right, walking around, we hadn't accepted God. Today is a good day. Facebook right. Live. Right. Yeah. You may not know him in the part of your sin. All right, come on now. Today is a good day to say, Lord, here I am. Yeah. Because Jesus is going to give you that, that, that is. He's going to ask you to follow me. Well. And it's going to be on you then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. We're getting ready for our prayer requests now. Amen. We know that God hears our prayer. Yes. Amen. And we know that he is a, a loving parent. Not only do he hear our prayer, what parent don't try to give their children what they ask for? Amen. Amen. God does the same for us. All right. And he's a loving parent. And then we are his children. So whatever we ask for, we ask for in his name, he yeah. will give it to yeah. us. Yeah. If it's for the upbuilding of his kingdom and it's not acts just out of a miss, God said, okay, here it is. Now what are you going to do with it? Amen. If it's for the upbuilding of the kingdom, you'll go a long way with it. Amen. Amen. And not only will God do that, he will also give you some of your wants sometimes. Amen. 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 Ain't nothing wrong with wants. You know, ain't nothing wrong with having money, having a fine house, a, a nice car. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Amen. Who don't want that? And it's coming up with the great American dream. Brother Ben was having a, a house and a car. Amen. Especially for African Americans. If we could just get us a house and a car, and a good job. Amen. Amen. We would be satisfied. And ain't nothing wrong with that. God wants you to have these things. All right. Amen. But when we pray, remember. Remember. We don't just pray because we want them. All right. We pray because we need this. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right now, Amen. God is standing, yes. waiting for you to bring your prayer requests. To God right now. I'm praying for everybody that's on the Palestine United Methodist Church road. Everybody whose name is not on the road, who's affiliated with this ministry. Amen. I'm praying for them. See, there's a lot of people name ain't on the road. All right. That support Palestine United Methodist Church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm praying for those who said, Rev, when you pray, pray for me. I'm praying for the downtrodden. Yes, I'm praying for the one that some of you may not think need prayer. Well, Yourself. Yes, now is the time for you to bring your prayer requests mm -hmm. and place them at the feet of our Lord and Savior. Yeah. That were rough. Lord, hear our prayer. Down for Lord, hear our prayer. Yeah. Lord, hear our Amen. prayer. Jesus. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus. Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we need you. Yes, sir. We need you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
In the name of Jesus, Lord, be our prayer. In the name of Jesus. Rodney Hicks. Lord, be our prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, be our prayer. Lord, we need you right now. Lord, be our prayer. Lord, he our prayer. Michael McIntyre. Yes, sir. Lord, he our prayer. God forgive work. Lord, Mary. Lord, he our prayer. Christian Morrow. Lord, he our prayer. To Lord, he our prayer. Our American leaders and state leaders. Lord, he our prayer. In the name of Jesus. Yes. L.D. and Adam Meadows. Lord, we are praying. Lord, we need you right now. Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praying for my family as a whole. Yeah. My nieces, yes. my nephews, my brothers and sisters, my, well, my only aunt, Ora Small. Yes. Lord, we are praying. Yes, sir. Praying for her daughter, Maxine Small Smith. Yes. Lord, we are praying. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus. Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We need it right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we come. In the name of Jesus. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Wondrous. Oh, he's a wonder. Yes, he is. Amazing. Well, he's amazing. Loving. Yes. He is loving. He is the source of all our being. Right. It was you, Lord, who formed us. Yes. It was you, Lord, who named us. Mm -hmm. It was you, Lord, that first loved us with a love that is beyond all of our imagination. Right. On our best days, mm -hmm. you loved us. Yeah. And on our worst days, Come on now. you claim us. Yeah. You claim us as your own and you treasure us like that adoring parent treasures their child. Right. Lord, you know our needs and you know our prayers even before we ask them. Yes. And yet we find comfort in knowing that we can bring our hearts yes. and our lives into your presence right now. Yes. And we can express ourselves with whatever words and whatever ways we can use. Well, Lord, it is an honor and a privilege yes. to not only bring our own needs, yes. but the needs and the desires of others to you. Yes. Lord, we thank you that through Jesus, yes. you embodied love in this world so that all might know of your compassion. Yes. Right. All might know of, of your peace. Yes. All might know of your presence. So right now in the name of Jesus, yeah, yeah. in this place and in that place, yeah. Holy Spirit, you are welcome right now. Yeah. You are welcome right now to yeah. touch our hearts and touch our minds. Yeah. Make and mold us yeah. and then use us mm -hmm. for the upbuilding of your kingdom. Lord, we pray for the world as a whole right now, Lord. Yes, you know yes. every need. You know what's going on in every place. Yes. You the Lord of the East, West, North, and South. Yes, yes. Yes. We pray for our community. All right. Yes, our communities all around. Yes. Lee County, Monroe County. Yes, we sir. pray right now. We pray for those in Amron all around that was affected by the tornado that don't have access 
to house you. Yes. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We pray for those right now whose money has gotten fun. Thank you. We pray right now for those who do not have help. All right? We pray for those who are seeking Medicare. Yes. Seeking medical care. Yes. We pray for those who need help. Help in their health issues. Yes, sir. Yes, Everybody sir. don't have help. All right. That's sick. Mm -hmm. We praying right now for the world as a whole. Yes. Right. We praying for the United Methodist Church, Lord. Yeah. We praying right now, Lord, right now. that you heal, deliver, yes. and set free. Oh, well, yes, Lord. Lord, we know right now. Right now. That you can look right now into all our hearts and minds. Yes, yes. yes. And we ask you to look yes. right now in all our hearts and minds. Yes. yes. And as you look, Lord, all right. we know that you will find some things that are not like you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We ask you to remove those things. Yes, yes. Remove them right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. yes. And we ask you to put love, grace, right. and peace right yes. now. Yes. Amen. In those places right now, Lord. Yes. And if any of us yes. have any unforgiveness in our hearts, again, right. anything somebody said years ago, yes. we ask you to remove it right now because yes. we yes. know that hurt people yes. hurt people. Yes. 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 Lord of compassion, hear our prayer right yes. now, Lord. All right. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, to go before us to prosper our way. Yes. Make our crooked path straight. Mm -hmm. We thank you right now. We praise yes. you right now that we are debt free. Yes. All our bills are paid and all our needs are met. Yes. And we speak those things that be not as though they were. Yes. All right. We pray this. Yes. That everyone is sick right now. Let your will be done. Yes. They are healed physically, yes. spiritually, yes. and mentally. And this is our prayer yes. today yes. to you in Jesus' name. Yes, hallelujah. Lord, hear our prayer. Yes. We love you, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes. And we give you all the honor today that do yes. your name. All right. Yes. Come on and give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Yes, he is. Waiting to be praised. Yes, sir. I know somebody prayed for me. All right. Amen. I know somebody prayed for me. Yes, Amen. I, I know I had a praying mother and a praying grandmother. All right. Because prayer is what brought us through. Mm -hmm. yes. Not going to be long this morning. We got a, another song right here. I ain't going to forget it today. <laughs> We got another song. If someone has a song on their heart, if not, we have one hymnal. We have our hymnal book. We have plenty of hymnal. If anybody have a song on their heart right now, now is the time. I miss Miss Aitzen because she would have been belting out one right now. Yeah. All right. Somebody. Ron London. Go ahead on and sing, son.
Show time. All right. Just hear me on 
I him no. We had uh, the Lord put on my heart this morning. I just want to read. I not sing. The first two verses of a hymn on page 419. In the name of this hymn is I am dying, O Lord. I am dying, O Lord. I have heard thy voice, and it told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. And then it says, draw me nearer. Right. Draw me nearer, O blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Yeah. Draw me nearer, nearer, O blessed Lord, to thy precious yeah. bleeding sight. Yeah. Verse 2 reads, consecrate me now to thy service, Lord. By the power of grace divine, yeah. let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, yeah. and my will be lost in that. Draw me nearer, draw me nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, draw me nearer, O blessed Lord. To that blessed, precious bleeding side. Amen. We need to be drawn nearer this morning, y'all. Yes. God is standing with his arm wide open. Yes, he is. Everybody. Everybody in Facebook Live, everybody in the world can come to the table of the Lord. Yes. God don't turn nobody away. Right. You don't believe it? Listen to this. Go to Matthew, the ninth chapter. Matthew 9. Beginning at verse 9, we'll read to verse 9 to 13, then we'll skip to 18 to 26. Chapter 9 of Matthew, if you're able to stand in the reading of the word, stand please. If you're not, keep your seat because God knows your heart. Matthew 9, verse 9 reads, As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him. And Matthew got up and followed him. Right. While Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and, and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciple, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, it is not healthy, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy not sacrifice, for I have not call, come to call the righteous, mm -hmm. but sinners. Right. Then we'll skip down to 18. Right. While he was saying this, a ruler came and knelt before him and said, my daughter has just died, but come and put your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus got up and went with him, and so did his disciples. Right. Just then, a woman who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years came up behind him and touched 
the edge of his cloak. She said to herself, if I only touch his cloak, I will be healed. Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. All right. And the woman was healed from that moment. When Jesus entered the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the noisy crowd, he said, go away. The girl is not dead, but asleep. All right. But they laughed at him. After the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took the girl by the hand and she got up. News of this spread throughout all that region. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Want to just talk, preach, shout, not sing. For a moment. All right. I believe. All right. Come on, let church say, I believe. I believe. Y'all believe we're going to get a bill? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let Ain't church say, no I believe. I believe. I believe. As we begin to read, as I begin to read this week, I started out reading about Matthew. Jesus was walking along. He saw a man named Matthew. And he said he was sitting at a tax collector booth. All right. Now you got to know that Matthew, he was uh, uh, one of the Jewish people. But he was employed by the Romans to collect taxes on the people. Hey man, how many of you ever heard that uh, insurance and taxes the biggest ripoff in America? All right. Matthew was a Jewish person that was working for the Romans, that was taking money from his own people, and to make things worse, he was taking more than what their taxes were and lying in his own pocket. All right. And the people, they hated him. They were mad at him. And see, they, they call them tax collectors then. We got a word for them. We call them, Garmel. We call them kind of people Uncle Tom. <laughs> yeah. We call them, you know, that's what we call them. Working for the other people against your own people. All right. But God can use anybody. All right. Come on now. He called Matthew and told him to follow me. And read it for yourself. And, 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 and Matthew got up. And follow Jesus. Now, it's not, now you got to understand that for him to get up and follow Jesus, he laid down everything that meant anything to him. He laid down his livelihood. Amen. He knew he couldn't come back and get the job and everything. He had to think of all of that. But he got up and followed Jesus. All right. And, 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 and the Pharisees were watching all of it. See, Matthew told Jesus to come on and let's go eat. And, and it, it, it's funny how. If you want to talk to somebody, how you can get them to listen around a good meal. All right, come on now. Feed them. <laughs> Feed them some real food. Go to tell them they're going to eat a steak, Melvin, and see how they listen to you. <laughs> but they came and ate with Jesus, and they said sinners was there. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but I didn't come to, to, to talk about Matthew today. That's another story. Right. I, I just want you to know a little bit about how Jesus used anybody. All right, come on now. I want to go down to verse 9, the ninth chapter in verse 21. What this woman, she said to herself, if I only I touch his cloak, mm -hmm. I will be healed. Well. See, right there, that, that is a message of hope. For anybody who find themselves in a situation this morning that appears to be hopeless. All right. Those who have reviewed their situation are uh, their current circumstance 
as one with no escape. I told you last week that God has an escape route for everything that come upon you. All right. And, 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 and in some Bible, the, this woman in this text, she described it as a certain woman. See, God don't care who you is. He don't care what color you is. He don't care how much money you got. He don't care about your name. A certain woman said she had an issue of blood for 12 years. Yeah. And, 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 and you got to be familiar with your Bible. You got to know the, the Levitical rules. This woman had been bleeding for 12 years. All right. She was dealing with a, a hemorrhaging problem. Well. And, 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 and the Bible says in another book, Luke and Mark, it gives you a lot of detail. Go back and read it. All right. It, it, it gives you a lot of detail about what it says about this woman. It says that she had gone from one doctor to another. Yeah. And she was seeking help. She was seeking a cure for her condition. Right. She was in every attempt to try to be healed. And she spent so much money that she went bankrupt. She went right. broke. She didn't have another dime. And, and after that, her condition, her medical condition, continued to get worse. All right. Anybody ever been there? Come on now. But this woman made up in her mind. Yeah. That she was going to be healed. See, we got to make up in our mind today. We got to believe what we asking God for. Come on now. Yes, sir. She right. believed. She believed that her healing was her. And she believed that she was going to get it at any cost. All right. How did she know? She didn't know, but she believed. Yeah. She believed it was going to happen. I believe God is going to come in right now and he is going to have all the financials and everything in store for us to have a place to worship him. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Perhaps somebody here this morning or somebody there this morning may be in need of a physical healing. Maybe not. You may need a spiritual healing. Right. Uh, uh, some of you may need help some other place in your life. Well, whatever your situation is on today, yes, sir. Yes. This text, this certain woman should be proof to us all. All right. That there is hope. Yes. Amen. All right. Come on now. This woman was not given a name. Well, she was just called a certain woman. She had been separated from all she knew. She had been separated from all she loved because of her condition. Mm -hmm. the, the Bible states in, Le, in, in Levitical law that a woman that's hem hemorrhaging is unclean. Right. And they, they can't touch another person. If they touch that person, they will be unclean. Ceremonially unclean. That means that she couldn't go to church. That means she couldn't go to choir rehearsal. She couldn't go to Bible study. She couldn't even go around nobody. She, she had to get a list out to go to Dollar General. She had been an outcast in society, and, and, and she was supposed to be homebound. Right. Anybody here ever been homebound? COVID had a lot of us homebound. Man. This woman was sick. She was broke. She was lonely. And she was hopeless. All right. After 12 years of suffering, and she was desperately seeking help. See, this is the thing about her. A lot of us will get into our stuff, and we'll try to stay into it. We don't seek no help. This woman was seeking help. And then she fixed up in her mind that she was going to be healed. Right. She purposed in her heart that she would receive it at any cost. Right. And, and as I was beginning to read and study this and, and, and think about it, got a phone call from my brother. Come on now. And he suffered from cancer. Right. 
And he came and he began to talk. And he told me exactly what I'm preaching today. All right. He said, Maurice, I got hope. All right. I got hope and I believe that God is going to heal me. Yeah. He said, yeah, I got cancer. Big deal. All right. But I'm not hopeless. Come on. Yeah. All right. So he was just like this woman. He believed. Mm -hmm. yes. He believed that his healing was possible. Yeah. And see, I know what God's word said. I know God's word said what with man it seemed to be impossible. All right. But with God, well, all things are possible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. If this woman had not seen her hopeless situation as one that could be cured, she wouldn't have never got her healing. Yeah. What about all of you this morning? All right. Do you believe God for the impossible today? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Facebook Live, do you believe God for the impossible today? Yes. Having heard about Jesus mm -hmm. and by faith, well, believing what she heard, she began to see with new vision through the Spirit by faith. Yes. She heard about a man that, that touched a leper yes. and said he was Healed like a, her skin began to be just like a newborn baby. Well, she heard about a man that spit on the ground and mixed up some mud yeah. and rubbed it across a blind man's eye. Come on now. Yeah. And that man began to see once again. Yeah. She heard and she began to believe all this and she said to herself, if I could just touch. Yeah. 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 Come on now. The yeah. hem of his garment. If yeah. I could just Get close. If I can just push through this crowd, if I can just move these folks outside, if I can just move this problem out the way, if I can just move that problem out the way, if I can just get to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. Come on, Pastor. Yes, sir. I believe I'll be all right. Yes, sir. What she heard, we're not told in scripture, but you got to use your sanctified mind today. All right. I believe what she heard was the word of God. Well, See, I, cause I know in John 1 and 1, it says in the beginning was the word. Yeah. And the word was with God. Right. And the word was God. Jesus this morning is the yeah. word, church. All right. Jesus is the word. She yeah. believed and she received by faith. Do you believe this yeah. morning? She believed Jesus. And she, she decided to act upon it. You got to act upon it. You got to walk in it. You got to say, Lord, here I am. You got to follow Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Come on, Pastor. Yes, sir. You got to follow him. Yes. Amen. Yes. She made a decision to change what she saw. Yes. And she did it by bearing her situation from the spirit realm. Well. She seen herself with her hand thrown up in victory. You we got to look beyond all this stuff going on yeah. right now. Yeah. We got to look beyond and we got to see ourselves. Yeah. We got to envision in our spirit ourselves with our hands held up high, okay. walking out in victory, knowing that we have defeated the enemy. Yes, sir. In her mind, she no longer saw herself a sick woman. Mm -hmm. But she saw herself as a woman that had already been healed. All right. See, I've been there. Well. Yeah. I don't know about you. All right. I've been there before. Yeah. Come on now. But then I declared these words. Yeah. Lord, I don't know how. Come on. I don't know when. Well. And I don't know where. But Lord, I know you able to do it. I know you able to bring me out, Lord. Just use me, Lord. Bring me out, Lord. Guess what? He brought me out, y'all. Guess what? It took some time sometimes. But he delivered me. Good God Almighty. Lord, thank you. He brought me out, y'all. Because what I was asking to be brought out in a few seconds, it took me 50 years right, to up. get in that condition. Yes, 
But he brought me out. Yeah. See, a lot of us looking for miracles, and we all miracle right now. Yeah. All you got to do is look within and look at yourself. Yeah. You a miracle. Yeah. Got that crazy faith. Yeah. Got to have it. Yeah. Faith that make you look stupid. That's all right. Folks will thank you a fool. Yes, sir. Yeah. They're thinking, ah, oh, he ain't, what went wrong with him? He crazy. Come on now. All right. Been sick for 20 years and thank you been to be healed. Yeah. It's all right. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Oh, all right. Yes. We are people of God, aren't we? Yes. So why not speak life? All yes. right. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to call. I'm just talking about I believe. Yes. I believe. Yes. Yeah. Romans 10 and 17 says, Faith come by hearing and okay. hearing yeah. by the word of God. Okay. Thank you. The Bible says she heard about Jesus. Yeah. We ain't given no specific. I say you can go in Luke and you can go in Mark and you can read a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But I believe what she heard was the man Jesus is the person she had been waiting for for 12 years. All right. Yeah. I believe that she purposed in her heart that she wasn't going to let this opportunity pass her by. See, somebody yeah. want to come yeah. right now. Yeah. Yes, sir. And Jesus had come just like you are, but you said, I, 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 I parted a little bit last night. <laughs> I parted a little bit this morning. Yeah. And I'm going to wait till I ain't nothing part. You need to come just like you are. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. You need to come just like you are because you yeah. might not get another opportunity. Yeah. All right. See, we must read, we must pray, and we must study the word of God daily. Yes. And, and, and when we read and study it daily, we got to believe it. Yes. All right. In spite of the circumstances. I know sometimes it's hard to believe that you ain't sick and you just come from the doctor. Come on now. See, but the devil is alive. Yes. Yes, sir. Amen. You are healed yeah. from the sole of your feet to the crown of your head. Yes, Just start sir. speaking and start believing in it and walk in it. Yes, sir. And then you know what? If this old tabernacle is torn down anyway, God gave you or got a mansion for you up there. Yeah. He got enough room for you yeah. up yonder. Yeah. All right. Come on now. Yeah. So in order to get that room, you got to leave them down here. Yeah. This old tabernacle ain't gonna hold up. Because right. let me tell you something. If the say if the building ain't built by God's hand, All right. come on now. It ain't gonna stay in no way. Alright. Believe the word of God. Yeah. yeah. Believe it and apply it. Speak it over all your situations. It ain't going to make sense because a lot of times we see stuff in the natural eye and, 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 and see, but it getting to a place now, you can't believe it when you see it in the natural eye. All right. Come on, somebody. All right. All right. Come on. They got everything because it's a duck and quack like a duck, Ricky. That don't mean it's a duck no more. All right. Well, it may be something else. That don't, right. don't mean it's a duck. All right. But we got to have faith yeah. in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Deliverance church can come right now, right now. Yeah. Or you can come over a period of time. All right. But with God, it's possible for us that believe. Yes. In Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, and without faith. Without faith. It is impossible to please God. All right. For he who comes to God yes. must believe that he exists. Yes. All right. And that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Are you seeking God? Yes. Yes. This woman here ought to be an example for us all. She lived 12 years in a hopeless situation. Yes. And after hearing about Jesus one day, All right. she became alive with hope. The hope began to rise up in her. Having heard about Jesus, yeah. she became desperate 
and she became determined. Well. She said and made up within herself, if I can just get to him, I ain't got to touch him. Well. If I could just touch the him of his garment. And then one day, I'm going to go back to Matthew, though, one day. I ain't going to go back to him today, y'all. Right. I'm going to go back to Matthew, and I'm going to show you how Jesus went on down from Matthew to a ruler that's called Jairus. The one that we just read about. Mm -hmm. Said his daughter was dead. Mm -hmm. Now you go back and you read it in Mark and Luke, you'll find out that they had a little different version of the story, but that don't make the story a lie. All right. Jairus came after the daughter was dead. In the story of Mark and Luke, he came and said his daughter was dying. Either way it go, God can bring life to any dead situation. Amen. God can bring life to any dead situation. Ain't nothing that talking about they got Christ in them should be dead. Amen. Ain't nothing ought to be dead around here. We said Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. We ought to be jumping with life up in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got to have faith, unwavering faith. Yeah, it ain't looked like, yeah, it's been looking like this for a few years. Yeah, it's just, it, but yeah, God is going to do it. Amen. 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 Having heard the word and believing the word of God, this woman made her move. Ain't it time for us to make our move? Yes, sir. Ain't it time for us yes. to push through the negative? Yes, All right. Ain't it time for us to push through the old stuff? Ain't it time for us to just get through the crowd? Yes, sir. Ain't it time for us to just touch the hem of the garment? And then what? Jesus turned around and he seen to her. Think about this now. You got to go back. He looked and seen her. This woman probably hadn't, nobody ain't looked at her and I couldn't tell you. God sees every last one of us. Right. God sees you. God knows what you're going through. Jesus asked himself, who touched me? Lord, have mercy. Come on now. Who touched me with all the crowd that was around him that day? He felt that one touch of faith. Mm -hmm. He felt that one touch of faith that this desperate woman who believed that he was indeed the Savior, he was the one sent from God, he was the one that was going to save her from being lost, he was the one going to heal her from being sick, he was the one that right now is going to bring us out of captivity. He is the one who God his only begotten son so that we yes. can have. Yes. How many of you want to be made whole right now? Yes. Come on, man. Yes. Come on, have you heard about Jesus? Yes. Do you believe in Jesus this morning? Yes. Do you believe that he can make all things right? Yes. Do you believe that he can bring life to any dying situation? Do you believe that he's the bright and morning star? Do you believe that he man. touched a dead man and yes, he was dead for four days in the grave and yeah. he got up? Yeah, yeah. come on now. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you see yourself out of your situation based on the word of God, you ought to be able to see yourself in this text. Move her out the way and put yourself in it. All right, come on now. It ain't about what you see. It's about what you believe, bro. All right, come on now. Because if it quack like a duck, that don't mean it's a duck. All right. You have to believe. A miracle is happening right now. All right, yes, sir. And it's happening in all of our lives. Yes. Amen. Amen. I know a miracle that happened a few weeks ago. They, they, they uh, right here in this church. Amen. They may not look at it like this, but uh, it was a miracle. All right. See, the devil came in and he tried, thought he had a way to get you and take you out. Mm 
All right. And God said, no, not my child. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not my child. Get Come your on, hands man. off. She belonged to me. Yeah. Once we begin to see stuff through the spiritual eye, mm -hmm. the next move is action in the natural. Step toward making it happen with Christ. Right. We got to believe. Yeah. Believe is the word of the rest of this year. We got to believe. Yes. Closing out. Write this down. Mark 9 and 23. Jesus said, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Mark 9 and 23 said that. Mark 11 and 24 said, therefore, I say to you, listen now, write it down and take these with you. Whatever thing you ask, when you pray, believe that you will receive them and you will have them. We got to have faith when we in our desperate situation. How many believe that all things are possible to those who believe? I'm a witness. God will do it just like he did for this woman. Yes. This woman with the issue of blood. Yes. Go back and begin to read your Bible and begin to look and see what all God has put in store for us that believe. All right. You got to be a believer now. It ain't, if you're not a believer, you might as well, you can say it all you want to. You can even put some hocus pocus on it. You can say a magical incantation or whatever, and it still ain't going to work. If you are unbelief. But for those who believe, all things are possible. I thank God that sometime years ago, uh, I became a believer. And God has taken and he is steady making and molding me. I'm a long way from being perfect. And I will never be perfect on this earth. All right. But there is one who goes before me. Well, yes. Who is perfect in all things. Yes. His way is perfect. His looks are perfect. Everything is perfect about him. Yes. And that is the way that we all have our perfection through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. If you don't know him, today is a good day to know him. Yes. Hey Amen. I hope some of you went back and read about that wind that's coming from the east. I hope some of you went and looked it up. Pastor Burke sent me a, 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 ooh, it was good. I mean, it was good. It was everything that God was confirming in us that it's his word is prophetic. And that means that what has been said will come to pass. And if we look around, we'll see that it's happening daily. But we, we are that remnant. We are the one that's going to continue to grow and go out and make disciples for the transformation of the world. Amen. Amen. You don't know him. Today is a good day. Yes. He said, "Come to me, all you are weary, yes. and I will give you rest." Yes. Are you tired today? Do you believe the word? Come to Jesus, just like you are, and He will give you rest. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. The next week, the word of God. It's true in all of our hearts. Amen? Amen. 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 Come on, get the Lord some praise.